Are you new to Blender and want to see the difference between an inflow and an outflow? Well, an inflow it pours water in. An outflow absorbs it away. Here's an example of the animation we're going to create. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. As you can see, nothing of it falls up because the outflow is just absorbing it here and it's disappearing. Cheers. Right, step number one, press numpad one to be in front orthographic view. Select your default cube, press S to scale it up and make it a little bit larger. Once you've got a size you're happy with, press G and Z to lock it to the Z axis and bring it up above the red line. Once you've done that, we want to switch to wireframe mode with X-ray on. That's perfect. And we are going to go to the physics properties, click on fluid and change it to domain and make sure this domain is designed for liquid. Now with the basic setup, we'll create a new collection. We're going to call this collection domain and we're going to move this cube into that collection so we know where to find it and just in case we will just add domain to the name as well which we're quite happy with next thing we want to do is press shift a mesh and we're going to add a let's just doesn't matter what shape we use an icosphere we're going to press g over here and we're going to press shift well before we we're going to click on fluid flow make it a liquid because that's our domain let's make this an inflow and let's increase the initial velocity 5 5 and make it go up 5 so it's going to shoot up and then gravity is going to bring it down to adjust the gravity settings you click on your domain sc scroll down all the way down to field weights and let's maybe make gravity 3 that should be interesting Right, with that selected, we can press Shift D, X, and spring one over here. Then we're going to press Shift A, Mesh, Cube. We're going to press S, Z to lock it to the Z axis, and just bring this out like that. And click on Fluid, Effector, Collision is Planar. So we can keep the two sides apart, which wouldn't help much at this point. So let's press S. Y and just make sure it's 100% and that looks pretty good to me next thing you want to do is um, so we can see a difference select one of these press shift D to duplicate it bring it down to the bottom of here and this is going to be our little vacuum cleaner we're going to change this to outflow and we can uh, leave it like that and that should be good maybe give it a bit of an emission 0.1 and now we can quickly go to our domain settings. I'm going to scroll down quickly. Resumable. Uh, the other thing that we probably want to do, well, let's take the gamble and make this 120 frames. Um, we're going to click on Mesh. And uh, the other thing we probably want to do is click on Collections and choose the, um, well, let's make sure that this is correct, New Collection and make sure that all the icospheres are in its own collection which is your flow collection and choose collection 3 for that and I've noticed that the effector isn't in its own collection which is this cube over here, we'll just chuck it there and with that done we can zoom, we can zoom out click on our domain quickly and uh, choose the effector one as well which is collection 4 and just like that I think we all set ready to go anything I probably want to change as a preference is this to 64 and uh, the other thing I'd like to do is just double check liquid liquid everything is looking good and uh, all we need to do now is render this out so now we're gonna scroll down click on our domain scroll down change this to modular scroll up and bake it in okay the modular bake was successful let's press play and just take a look at see what our result is I only baked it in for 120 frames which isn't much but you can see the difference between using an outflow versus not using an outflow and uh, obviously if you wanted to see this further um, you saw it at the beginning of this video so please don't forget to like and subscribe